Ever wondered how to add some great video effects to your home piano recordings? Well, I'm pleased to say that volume three of my ebook series, which is all about recording your piano at home, is now available to download. Please stay tuned and I'll explain to you how you can go about downloading this. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. Hi, this is Tommy with Tommy's Piano Corner, the place for returning pianists, or indeed anybody who loves a piano, to share tips and ideas of how to get the best from this great hobby. If it's your first visit here, then please do consider subscribing. Simply hit the little icon in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and it's all done for you. Many, many people actually take the time to make home recordings of their piano playing and post them on social media. Yet it's surprising how few people take advantage of what are effectively very simple techniques to add a lot of interest to the visuals. Have you ever noticed when you watch even the simplest of TV programs, say a cooking program for example, that the camera never stays in the same place for very long? It constantly changes from say the person who's cooking to a close-up of the ingredients or a shot of the person chopping those ingredients or different camera angles of the pan on the stove, all sorts of text and images just really to keep your brain engaged. Now watch some YouTube videos of people playing piano. Granted, a lot of them you'll find that it's just a single camera angle that's been filmed, but if you look at many of the more professionally produced videos, then the camera keeps moving constantly from place to place and the shot keeps changing with different angles of how you look at the pianist, maybe shots of the room, all these kind of things. Getting some of these same effects, even when it's a one man album and band, so to speak, who's recording all on their own, just using their phone and their laptop, is remarkably easy to do. You can, of course, watch the video that I created some time ago about adding visual interest to your videos, and this covers a lot of these techniques. But what I noticed was that for a lot of people who aren't that familiar with going into new software, it can all seem a little bit daunting, and therefore it was probably worth putting the ebook together just to give that little extra bit of help. So in the ebook, I split it down into three, as you know. Volume one covers the basic points and shoot and the importance of having a good mic so you can actually capture the audio from your piano. Volume two looked at how you can go about editing the audio, so putting some quite clever effects onto it that are actually very simple to do. And now with volume three, it looks at the video side of things. So how do we achieve different effects with the video software? Regular viewers, of course, know that I'm a Mac person, so I'll demonstrate this using iMovie, which, of course, ships completely free with any Mac. However, as you can see here, basically the user interface for all video editing software is extremely similar, and the commands that you'll find are all named in the same ways. This is quite simply because it's actually based on real life equipment that was used in the industry for many years. So when they've created this clever software, they've retained the same naming conventions around things. So you'll find that this advice transfers very, very easily to whatever software you may choose to use when you do this. Within the ebook, I'll give you a detailed introduction to basic video editing software Clearly, I'm not going to cover every command that's there, but I'll cover all of the important ones that you'll need to recognize and know how to use to get the best results in your videos. The other thing I also cover quite early on in the book is how you can go about combining a video file and an audio file where you used one phone, for example, to actually record the sound of the piano and a different phone to record your playing itself, so your, the images of you moving. Then we'll have a look at some other very specific things. We'll look at how to create introductions and titles. We'll look at how we can cut from one video clip to an image.
or indeed how to cut from one video clip to a different video clip. I'll show you how to create a zoom effect on a video clip. I'll show you how to achieve the effect of superimposing an image over a video. I'll show you also how to change a static image into a moving image. And of course, how to ensure that all of these transitions from one image or one clip to another aren't too abrupt. All of these things are surprisingly easy to achieve and will make your video so much more interesting to watch for your viewers. I've put a link in the description below for you and as you click on that, in exchange for your email address and your first name, you'll be redirected to where you can download the file. Of course, I'll make sure that all three volumes are available there to download so that you can pick the other two up if you miss them when they were first released. Please do let me know how you get on and of course if you have any questions then leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. If you're not already then please do subscribe to Tommy's Piano Corner, click on that little bell icon so you're notified of new videos as and when they're released. I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week.